want to welcome everyone here to another Halloween season and uh, this will be my third one this year and so I want to thank everyone out there for watching my videos I uh, hope you enjoy my stories this year we're going to share one that I heard uh, somewhere uh, back in the hills of our Cherokee country and I try not to disclose any of these uh, places too much because uh, I don't want to send too many people in that direction. But this story right here uh, really fascinated me. And it kind of gives a, a taste of the way that we see things in our lifestyle as Cherokee people. And so the story says that a long time ago, in this old school, across the road there was a railroad track. And every day the children, when they got out of school, they would cross that railroad track and run home. But there was one young boy, his name was Charlie. Now Charlie, he loved to play around the railroad tracks and his mama and daddy would always get on to him and tell him, said, Charlie, you need to stay away from that railroad track or something's gonna happen. Unfortunately, something did happen. As the train was coming, Charlie's foot got stuck and Charlie passed from this life. Not too long after Charlie's death, they begin to see Charlie. You see, during the evening hours when the sun was just going down, many passerbyers of the school would see glimpses of Charlie as he ran across the yard to hide from the cars. Charlie was still there. Years passed and that old school, that old rock school, grew too small. And so county came and they built a bigger school. More students. And soon people begin to forget about Charlie. Every once in a while, an old timer would pass by and they were so used to seeing him that they would just wave and occasionally they would see Charlie wave back. But the younger ones, they didn't want to know anything like that. And so Charlie became a fading memory. The senior class was holding a Halloween carnival. Oh, what a wonderful time it was going to be with games and food and candy. And of course, you can't have a good carnival without a spook house. And so the old gym, they turned into a maze, a spook house. Everyone was having a wonderful time. You could hear them as they walked through that maze in the old gym, screaming and yelling and giggling. But there was one young boy, his name was Johnny. Now Johnny, he was the trickster. And so he hid behind the old school. And as the participants were exiting the building, Johnny would wait quietly somewhere and as the participants were walking through, calming down just a little bit, Johnny would jump out and scare them. <laughs> Johnny loved that. He loved to see the fear on their face and the screams and they would run off giggling. All night, somewhere, Johnny was hiding out there outside that back door. The last group went through and as they were going through the maze again you could hear the screams and the yells and the giggles and as they came out a, a sigh of relief as they were talking about what scared them the most and Johnny found the perfect place to hide this was his last group and he was going to make it good and as they came walking around Johnny was tensed up with anticipation <laughs> and all of a sudden by his ear he heard someone say 
Get ready, they're coming. <laughs> they say that Johnny hasn't been seen down that way in a long time. Whenever this story is told, many people wonder, was it really Johnny that was scaring those people? <laughs> or was it Charlie? I guess we'll never know. At least that's the story that was told to me. Thank you guys.